Well, here we are with Dr. Frank Hauser from Wichita, Kansas, a dentist. Um, how are you doing, Dr. Frank Hauser? Well, I'm doing just great. Well, all right. Dr. Frank Hauser, you're a dentist and you've yes. been a dentist for a bunch of years. Um, tell yes. me, there is a, you know, as patients, sometimes, uh, you know, some of us have a, a two for two or three teeth missing. Uh, in the back, because usually in the front we exchange them right away, it looks ugly like hell, uh, but like in the back. Mm -hmm. And frankly, nothing bad is happening, at least not in our mind. Um, and yet every dentist keeps telling us you've got to exchange, you've got to like, uh, you know, fill those gaps, you've got to uh, put replacements in there. Well, what's the deal there? Well, on one hand, nothing bad is happening, it looks like on the other hand, you dentists put such an enormous uh, uh, stress on replacing them. Can you shed some light on that, Dr. Frankhauser? Well, a little bit, yes. Um, if you have uh, teeth missing in the back, uh, it, it may not hurt. It may not, uh, you may still be able to eat, but slowly, gradually, over time, your bite will collapse, and then you end up losing all the rest of your back teeth. So we try to prevent that by replacing the teeth that are missing. What does the bite collapsing mean? Well, the teeth will gradually move into whatever space is available. And so if you have a space in the middle on the bottom, the teeth in the back and uh, will cave forward. The ones in the front will cave backwards. And then it messes the way your teeth touch together when you chew. And, uh, <clears throat> and that can cause a lot of problems, even headaches. Wow. So basically what you're telling me, it's a little bit like a, a fence, you know, when you have all those little balls in the fence and then a couple of things yes. start missing, they get a little crooked and next thing you know is the whole bat fence plays like a piano and, uh, yeah. and it, 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 it not only looks ugly, but it loses its purpose and falls apart uh, heavy. Um, exactly. And you say... Uh, this is something very interesting you say. You say it can even cause headaches because uh, I've heard from other people or dentists actually that they say, uh, you know, shoulder pains, neck pains, stiffnesses, uh, and all because, um, you know, your, 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 your mouth starts getting crooked. Um, it, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Um, if the teeth are not matched up together correctly, then it uh, can affect the way your jaw sits relative to the rest of your head and that can um, cause strain in your muscles you know so you get like a muscle fatigue in your uh, chewing muscles and and that can cause headaches well, so, so, so um, I mean, from extra wear and tear on the teeth yeah Right. Well, from an engineering viewpoint, um, you know, that makes lots of sense. Uh, me being a kind of a mechanical machinery engineer, like when you have, let's just say, uh, just a door hinges in, and if one hinge is more used than the other one, obviously one wears out a little faster, and something, you know, it starts getting a little crooked, and the door doesn't fit, and then all, all kinds of stuff are happening. Um, same with cogs in the machine. So I, I can see that. So so let me ask you, so if a person, let's just say, has had headache and, and tense, uh, muscle tensor, and he has tried all kinds of things, has taken his share of aspirin and name it. Uh, would it be a good thing for him to say, well, let's go to a doctor and really see whether there's anything going on in my mouth which is out of alignment. That's basically what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like driving around with your wheels out of a line. So it uh, causes a lot of extra wear and tear. And, um, and a lot of times the little disc that's in between the jaw and the skull gets uh, knocked out of place and so now it's not working anymore now you're rubbing your bones together that doesn't doesn't work very well no nope. so a lot of things can go wrong so got to replace those teeth of course um, we're gonna, and I'm sure we're going to have some conversations there first try not to get them missing in the first place but once they are missing um yeah. Then they should be replaced. And even I think, even if all teeth are in it, those alignments, uh, those disalignments, could possibly happen, right? Sure, sure. Um, yes. Um, a lot of people are walking around with uh, all their teeth, but they still have some misalignment, and it could be from the way they grew in, or 
you know, maybe they had some uh, orthodontic treatment, teeth got moved a little bit, and now they don't fit together just right. Or they might have gotten an injury. Maybe they uh, got hit with a basketball at the age of 10 and uh, knocked their jaw out of place. So a lot of things can happen in, in life. <laughs> Right, I can see that. So basically, um, a dentist, in, in that extent, from what we talk now, you can look at yourself like as a chiropractor for your mouth, um, you know, putting things in alignment. Wow. Because, you know, if your back is out of alignment, all kinds of shit starts happening. And saying, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I like that. Well, sure. We, you know, we, uh, we're able to, um, Take a look at a lot of those things. Um, if the if the teeth are not missing, then we can realign them basically so that the bite's correct and everything's working the way it's supposed to. If the teeth are missing, then we have methods of replacing teeth either with uh, We're going to talk uh, bridges, about removable same. appliances, implants, things like that. Right, right. And we're going to talk about that a lot more in other videos of how we can... Um, uh, replace them, but uh, so the first uh, message obviously is your mouth could be out of alignment whether you have all the teeth in or not. Much more, of course, if they are missing. Uh, never mind that you know uh, when teeth start uh, faltering like a uh, like an old fence. Um, you know one affects the other one, and next thing you know is your teeth in front start looking ugly, uh, and 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 and. and and that, like, is really spelling disaster. Well, thanks a lot, Dr. Yes. Bankhauser. I'll uh, speak to you soon again. All right.